Well guys, it is time to upgrade the mount. It's a bit of a, uh, a sad day, but at the same time a happy day. Regular viewers of my channel would know that the old Celestron CGX mount has uh, gone through a bit of a journey with myself. Starting off with the uh, Rasa Twins. Um, upgrading from my old CGM mount to the CGXL. Uh, yeah, and, and now that we've gone on to triplets, um, why? I've, oof, it's just insane to think that I've done that. Um, and yeah, uh, with that, I've had to upgrade the mount. Uh, it's just, it was not stable enough. I, yeah, I wish Celestron would make a, a more heavy duty amount um, than the CGXL. Maybe something in comparison to this. Here it is. The Skywatcher EQ8R Pro. Now, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you may notice that at the very beginning with the Rasa Twins, there was a Skywatcher EQ8 mount. Well, this is the one. That's right. I was able to actually purchase the one that I used at the very beginning when I started the Rasa Twins uh, project and I was waiting for my CGXL to arrive. Um, yeah, I was able to actually uh, buy it and get a hold of it. So uh, pretty, pretty happy with that. Now, Compared to the CGXL, I have to say that this thing is a beast. It is a monster. It is so stable. Um, and the pier and tripod alone, oh my God. I mean, I remember it being good, um, but I just really didn't realize just how much stable it is um, with this system. Um, than my CGXL mount. Now, I love my CGXL mount. I love Celestron products. And if Celestron actually made a mount similar to the EQA's R um, with a 50 kilo payload capacity, big pier and all that, um, there would be a very good chance I would have that instead of this. But they don't. And I'm not saying that... Um, uh, Skywatch is a bad brand. It is not a bad brand at all. Um, it's just that I do like my Celestron and that Celestron gear and that relates all the way back to my very first telescope which was a Celestron Nexstar 6SE which I was able to connect my Nikon camera up to and took my very first deep space shot of the Triffid uh, Nebula. And that's what got me hooked and here we are today. Um, yeah, so the Skywatcher EQ8R Pro is now part of the Rasa triplets and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm calling out to all you Skywatcher enthusiasts out there with either Skywatcher mounts or the EQ8 and hopefully you can assist me a little bit in learning how to use this mount a bit more because I'm just so used to Celestron stuff and the CPWI software integration into the Celestron CGXL is just flawless um, and everything is just so easy. Um, so I do find that I still have to load up Celestron CPWI with the uh, uh, Celestron focus motor on one of the races um, purely because uh, I can't seem to download the ASCOM software from the Celestron website. It just won't download, won't work. Don't know why that is. Hmm. Anyway, so there are a couple of things about the, uh, the Skywatcher mount, um, maybe mounts, that I dislike. And that is the uh, power cables and all that. I don't like cables that move around a bit and have the potential to be snagged. But I don't think there's really anything I can do about this. Unless in my old, old 
fashionable state that I tend to do things is that I modify it. Um, no, I don't know if I want to go to that level. Yeah, yet. Anyway, we'll manage it and we'll see how we go for now. So at the moment, I've got the USB cable. Um, it goes into the Eagle computer. And to me, I mean, I could have... Well, I don't even think I, I can have this connecting coming out here into the Eagle to stop uh, things moving about. But um, yeah, that's that's really, really it, to be honest with you. The, oh, sorry, the other couple of things I've had to do here is um, I've had to adjust this whole setup uh, purely because of the uh, the levers on the sides here. Um, and, and yeah, uh, how I power my Eagle now is a little bit differently too. Uh, before I used to run the power cable up through the Celestron CGXL mount. Now I plug it into the uh, power port in the back of the mount and then power output on the top of the mount. So that's pretty cool. That's, I don't mind that at all. I mean, again, it's less cables moving about can, um, from the, uh, the hub at the back, which I wish they just had it done, moved all this stuff to the hub at the back as well. Um, it would just make more sense. So, if anyone's from Skywatcher is actually watching, maybe consider that into your next mount design. Just have all your plugs at the back, and so that way, everything that moves is all internal cabling, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will create less snags and a cleaner setup. Um, in which... I believe ZWO are starting to come out with some Bluetooth type mounts in their AM series. So that's pretty cool. But I don't think it would handle triplets. So what's in store now for the CGXL? Well, for one, I'm going to clean her up a little bit. She's a bit dusty, as you guys may be aware. Uh, your gear does get a bit, uh, a bit dusty from time to time. Or should we call it intergalactic dust from our astrophotography? sounds a lot better but anyway um, I'm going to clean up this Celestron CGXL put it in storage for a while and maybe sometime down the track when I can actually afford things I might be able to um, uh, set it up for some planetary uh, galaxy um, shooting because uh, the the 400 millimeter focal length of the RASs with the 294 sensor isn't really designed for planetary work and it's, you can image some galaxies with it but it's extremely wide field so um, ultimately I would like to have myself an 11 inch uh, edge HD or maybe even an 8 inch edge uh, keep everything 8 inches <laughs> um, <laughs> so, wow okay anyway Back to it, um, yeah, so maybe a, a 11 inch would be a, a dream scope um, for me, the uh, the Edge, Celestron Edge, HD 11. Um, I think even a 9.25 uh, would be nice as well, but I think uh, the old CGXL is going to go into storage for a while. And uh, hopefully one day in the future I'll bring it back out and we can, uh, we can do some more imaging imaging with her, but she's been a great mount and I absolutely love uh, my Celestron stuff. So there we have it, the uh, new mount to the addition of the, the Rasa Triplet imaging system. Uh, no doubt there's going to be a bit of a learning curve to go on with the Skywatcher um, EQ8 Pro mount. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Um, I know this is additional EQ mod um, software and things like that that I've had to uh, install and play with but uh, I think we're certainly getting there anyway if you've enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up if you got any uh, questions please leave them down below even if you got any suggestions or ideas um, definitely leave them down below and if this is the first video you've seen please check out some of my others and if you enjoy those videos too please subscribe Alright guys, so that's it for me, and the new mount, and the triplets, and uh, clear skies to you all.
take it easy. I'll see you next time. So I'm calling out to all you Skywatcher uh, EQ8R or EQ8 um, 